a lot of small businesses don't last beyond the first year. Finding somewhere that was small enough that we could afford, but had the right kind of infrastructure, that was the main, and that's what we spent most of the time doing, was looking for that perfect space, and um, I think we found it. Um, once we'd found the space, it was completely empty, uh, apart from a lot of dust. So it was a huge clear-up operation. It wasn't a print workshop at all, it was just an empty space. What you see today, we've put in entirely. We didn't have a huge amount of money to put towards it, so um, we, uh, you know, we just called on friends, called in favours and did all the hard work ourselves. We're the only place in Southampton that offers the sort of courses that we do. We're professional artists, so they're getting uh, an experience to work with a working artist. We have several strands of the business. So first of all, we run courses which uh, you know, uh, people pay to come on and they learn either a technique or several techniques. And uh, as well as that, we work in schools. Then we have memberships. Those members can come and use the workshop on open access days. So they've paid a membership and then they come and use the workshop by the hour to produce their own work. We have exhibitions for members and open studios and regular get-togethers. The idea behind it was to make a bit of a community because it's very easy to work as an artist just at home in the shed or, you know, not, not really see people and it's very easy to get isolated. So we really wanted people to, you know, be able to meet and work together. And the open access days really help that. Even people that think they're not arty can always get a result from printmaking, you know, I, I promise. I went to art college some years ago and um, I've kept uh, different creative strands going but this is, um, this is relatively new to do some printmaking. It's a little oasis really, uh, a little chance to, um, to, to, to concentrate on, on an image and uh, be amongst um, like-minded people. For me the most enjoyable aspect of being here is um, being amongst other people because the work that I do I'm generally on my own so so it's just nice to to um, to see what other people are up to and yeah that's that's why I come. Uh, this is called Dry Point um, it's on a material called Renalon which is like a, a strong plastic you're basically scratching into the Renalon with a very fine point and then once you've had your got your image on here it's inked up with um, ink and where you've scratched into the plate the ink stays in the grooves in the plate so you ink it up and then wipe it off and then the ink remains in the grooves that you've made on the plate and it then goes in the press and your image comes out. And it's fun, it's so much fun. I think what would be brilliant is to have more projects, more one-off projects funded, more, more organisations that were able to fund small outfits like us. 
The fact that we've been going for six years is, uh, you know, that's really amazing. Every year that passes, we're, we're always like, oh wow, we're still here.